course of action. Budgeting, budgeting is nothing more than a quantitative and numerical expression of the company's plan and objective. So, budgeting is interrelated with plan and it is going to give you a sense of quantitative or numerical expression. Means, how many units have to be produced, number of units, maybe 1 million unit at a price of 10. So, what will be the cost of the product? So, all these things are going to give you the budget. Master budget is the static budget. This is the final budget and this is not going to be revised in any upcoming period. However, master budget is composed of many smaller budgets. So, the actual budget will be having many, many smaller budgets like sales budget, like departmental COGS budget or maybe the production budget, the material requirement planning budget, uh, the cash budget, uh, the operational expenses budget. So, all these different small, small uh, budgets are going to have their own say into the budgeting process. What are the advantages of budgets? Coordination and communication within the organization and with outside the organization increases as a result of having a budget. It is a framework of measuring performance. So, it's going to give you the key milestones that they have to be achieved to achieve the final objective. And it is also going to give you a yardstick against which we can measure the performance. Otherwise, whatever actually is happening, we will say, okay, something is happening in the actual business and we have no other plan to compare it against. So, we will not come to know how we are performing, whether we are performing uh, for the betterment of the organization, whether we are performing to the optimum level of the organization or we are underperforming and we are not able to achieve or we are underachieving. So, this can only be seen if we have a budget or a plan available with us. Motivation of the managers and employees, why? Because if those people have made a plan, what will happen? They will try to reach that plan and they will try to uh, achieve that plan. Plan or the budget also, uh, also helps in effective allocation or efficient allocation of organizational resources. So, in the sense, what will happen is we will be able to have a, some sort of a brainstorming session or some thinking process so that we can, we can use all the resources available to the business to the best use. And at the end of the day, it is a control tool. Why? Because we are, we are measuring the actual performance against the plan and we are trying to find out the gaps and the reasons associated with those differences or those gaps and how we can fill in those gaps and how we can take some sort of corrective action to make sure that our plan and the actual is the same. Characteristics are given for certain uh, planning which is a successful characteristics. These characteristics have been taken from a long, long list of planning in different organizations and these are the best practices which you can see in the planning. Budget must start with the company's plan both short term, long term and the inter intermediate term. So, what we have to do is we have to start our budgeting process by keeping in mind all the objectives. What are the short term objectives? What are the medium term objectives? Where we want to go and how we want to reach over there, the mind map involved or the roadmap involved in reaching the particular destination, that is the first thing through which we are going to start our budget. Then budget needs support from all the different levels of the management from strategic or to the operational. Otherwise, what will happen? Different organization level will be having their own plans and they are not going to follow a particular course of action. So, there will be a chaos in the organization and they are, the organization entirely is going to fall apart. People who are responsible for delivering, they should have a say in the budget. Why? Because those are the people who are going to actually give you the results. And if people are given certain tasks which they cannot do, what will happen? There will be a resentment. People are going to say, we were given a challenge which is unachievable. So, the first thing which we have to do is, we have to ensure that whatever the challenges we are putting for ourselves, those are those sort of challenges which we can achieve. Budget should be seen as motivational. Why? Because if you are going to give a huge challenge and which is unachievable with the given resources, what will happen? People are going to be demotivated because they can see that they are going to, they are not going to achieve the objective which is being given to them. Budget should be an accurate representation of what is expected to occur. What does it mean? It means that Say for example, everything is going to go the way we have planned for, 
the actual result will be nothing more or less than what we are planning for. So the actual result will be the same as the planned results. Budget should be flexible to allow for changes in the business environment because at the end of the day, budget is a plan. It's not necessary what we are planning is 100% right. So we can change the plan or we should change the plan whenever the economic environment is going to get changed. So what we try to do is we try to go for the static budget and then we try to go for the revised forecast every quarterly. So every quarter there will be a revised forecast and that will help to make sure that there is nothing changing in the environment in a bigger manner which is influencing our business. Budget should be accurate representation of expected future events. Budgeting should not be rigid otherwise what will happen? People are not going to go for the budget and they are not going to achieve the budget. Budget should be coordinated among all the departments and divisions. Proper coordination and communication is vital for the successful budgeting and for the successful organization. Otherwise what will happen? All the different level of the organization's management will be having different level of understanding of the business and they will be achieving their own objective and their own set of criteria. Time period including in the budget should match the purpose of the budget. Normally the organization prepares the budget for one year but uh, the time period should also be reflective of that of the use of the budget.